As you can imagine, the streetcar was a hot-button issue at tonight's mayoral debate. It's one of the issues where the two Democrats differ. Roxanne Qualls and John Cranley squared off here in the Nine on Your Side studio in a debate moderated by Good Morning Tri-State anchor Catherine Nero. Talk is talk, but money speaks. The Blue Ash Airport was sold and the proceeds were promised to your neighborhoods. But my opponent and her uh, uh, colleagues on council took all $37 million and put it in the streetcar. We need to see the trends on the horizon, one of which is that people are turning away from relying upon the automobile. People want public transportation. Some of the sharpest exchanges between Cranley and Qualls came in response to a question from WCPO digital reporter Kevin Osborne. He pointed out they had both chaired the council finance committee and presided while the city passed a structurally unbalanced budget. Why should we believe and voters believe either of you when you say you're going to pass a structurally balanced budget? We have to balance our budget by being smart. You don't take an asset like parking meters and garages and tickets and sell it off to spend and paper over a deficit. You need those resources on a long-term basis to keep cops and firefighters on the street. We haven't had a structurally balanced budget since 2002. The entire time that John was chair of the finance committee, we had a structurally unbalanced budget. During the entire time John was chair of the finance committee and also a member of the pension board, he didn't bother to show up 77% of the times to those pension board meetings. And now it is actually the pension that is one of the underlying reasons for the downgrade in the city's bond rating. Cranley responded that Qualls voted for the budgets he put together and that he sent proxies to the meetings he missed.